Hey party people, Tom here. Hey, we just finished our Narnia Easter special, and if you haven't seen it, you can check the link in our description below. Uh, but since then, we've had a number of people asking us to make something from Narnia. So today, we're gonna be learning how to draw the great king of Narnia, Aslan. All right, let's get to it. We're gonna draw Aslan together. To make this drawing, you're gonna need some paper, a pencil, and whatever you'd like to use to color. I'm gonna be using colored pencils, but you can use whatever you'd like. Feel free to hit pause while you're watching so that you can take time to draw your lion. All right, let's get started. To start, draw a circle. One thing I've learned about drawing is that everything is made out of shapes. A lion is no exception. So first we're gonna draw a circle and then we're going to draw a second circle about half the size of the original one so that it cuts the bottom end of your first circle in half. Be sure to keep these sketches as light as you can so that you can erase them later once you add ink and color. Make a line from the bottom to the top, straight up the middle. This will help us get all our details even on his face. In the larger circle, draw a horizontal line halfway through it, cutting it in half. This line will help us place his eyes. In the smaller circle, draw a horizontal line, cutting it in half. Then between that line and the bottom, draw another line. This is where you'll draw the mouth. The area around the lion's mouth is called a muzzle. Make two curved lines meeting in the center. Use a photo for reference if you need it. All right, just below, make two short lines down and across the bottom to connect them. This is the lion's chin. To build out the bridge of the nose, draw lines from the sides straight up with a slight angle towards the middle. On the outside of these two lines, crossing along the horizontal line you made earlier, draw circles for eyes. Make sure to check some photos of lions to find the right size. On the inside edges of the eyes, there's a dark pattern like you can see in this photo. Take time on these because they're really important and a little tricky. On the sides of the cheeks, we're gonna start equal to where the eyes are. Keep the cheekbones up and then swipe inwards as you go down on either side. The hairline goes down in the middle on top. Kinda like an old school Iron Man helmet. For the nose, this is on the top half of your smaller circle. It's an upside down triangle, but the shape of your lion's nose is really up to you. Find a photo of a lion you like and use that shape to help. All right, for the mane, it's going to be really light. It's rounded on top and comes to a point at the bottom. Outline lightly and then give a few lines throughout. Since I'm doing color later, I'm not going to be going all out with the hairs. The lighter, the better. All right, now it's time to start with our ink. You can use a Sharpie or a marker, whatever it is that you'd like to use. One important rule for inking, less is more when you're working with color. You'll be trying to make more lines with your colored pencils or whatever it is that you're using to color, so don't overdo it with the ink. Outline slowly and carefully, leaving lots of space for color. Hey, make sure to hit subscribe and like this video if you're hanging out with us today. We would love for you to join the party. On the chin, I'm making some individual brush strokes down instead of a solid line, as there's lots of fluff on the lion's chin. Like I said, less is more. So for the mane, I'm not doing individual hairs. I'm just doing a couple lines. I won't even outline the mane because I know I'll be doing that with color. So give yourself space because color is on its way. All right, now erase your original pencil marks here so you can start with the color. <laughs> all right, so let's get coloring. So as tempting as it is to go all out in yellow, start slow. Leave the spots under the eyes and nose white. When you keep the yellow light, you'll be able to blend and get the right tones to make it look as Aslan-y or Simba-y or as Tony the Tiger-y, whatever it is that you're going for with your lion. Your mane will always have a darker look to it, so I'm starting mine with orange and red still light. I'm 
I'm outlining the pen lines in the mane with brown so that the pen lines flow with the color. You'll really see this bring out the fluffiness of the mane. I'm pretty sure this line uses conditioner, but that's the key with hair. You don't want to do millions of lines. From a distance, hair doesn't even look like that. So when we do draw individual strands of hair, we'll wait until we're further along. I'm working some of the brown down the center of the lion's forehead. You'll see this in photos of lions. The dark pattern of the mane usually goes down into the face as well. Begin to darken the outside edges of the face to give it more depth. You'll get a cool 3D effect as you work the outsides darker and darker. Work away, blending the brown, red, and yellows to get the right color. I'm gonna keep working this mane darker and darker to get a little bit more contrast between the mane and the face. I work the darkest parts on the top of the ink and the lighter parts in the spaces in between. Go back over the face with your yellow once you've worked up to it. Above the eyes, there's usually a darker pattern. I'm going to go over these areas with brown and red. Keep working the shadows with your reds and browns to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to keep going darker and darker until the mane looks just right. Like before, I'll rely on those pen lines for where the darkest parts should be. Around the muzzle, I'm going to outline the edges in yellow to bring it down a little bit. I'm going to use the brown to make some lines run along the chin in the same direction I made my brush strokes earlier. I'm going to color the nose dark red and brown. A lion's nose isn't completely black, so we're going to still have some color in it. I want to bring this down even further, so I'm going to go pretty hard with a dark red. Once I can't get any more contrast or any darker, I'll bring in blue. I might want to go for a gray or a black, but it's always better to go for a blue or a purple to get darker values. The blue will actually blend really well and look super good in the dark spots. To do the whiskers, I'm just taking brown and putting some dots in three lines under the nose on either side. Take a white pencil and make some whiskers. You may need to go over it a few times to cut through the colored pencil underneath. For the eyes, take some baby blue and green. Blend the green into the top half. He's kind of got some crazy eyes going on, so I'm going to add some black along the top eyelids to tone it down a little bit. All right, now it's time to make the background and make this thing really pop. For time's sake, we're going to speed this thing up a ton, but take some blue and just fill out everything around the mane. Take some darker blue and shade close to the edge and towards the outside. I want to frame my whole picture, so I'm bringing it out as far as I can. The dark around the edges of the paper and the edges of the mane will really draw your eyes in. I'm adding a little bit of green in the background as well. Lastly, if you want to add some snow or stars, whatever you'd like, you can take some white paint and dab little snowflakes all around. This will make it look like we're stepping right into Narnia. And there you have it, the King of Narnia, Aslan.
Well, hey, that was a ton of fun. Great job on your lion. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time, party people.